Ladies and gentlemen, smarks of all kind, welcome to the Brennan Dorman MMA channel. Today we'll be covering Mr. Sajulayev here. Uh, first name is Abdul Rashid. He is a Dagestani wrestler, pound for pound, probably the best on the planet right now. Subscribe, like, bell notification is very important. A lot of people aren't getting them, make sure they're on. Um, what I really want to demonstrate in this video is through the lens of an MMA coach, fighter, practitioner, how I see this and what we can learn from it. Um, one of the things, and Faraz spoke with Joe Rogan about this on his podcast, is the way in which they approach um, sparring and or training. Rather than going four days, five days hard during the week, they go seven days light. And I, I'd compare it to maybe um, the Thais in Thailand, um, the, Cu the Cuban school of boxing is very similar. It's playful and you'll see them in environments where they can't really even practice their craft per se. So you'll see, you know, um, in Thailand, you'll see them on the grass in Dag Dagestan or somewhere in Russia, you may see them on pavement. You'll, you'll, you'll see them on, on fighting surfaces where you couldn't actually fight or spar hard. It's just an addiction to the, mar the said martial art, um, which is really what I want you to take away from this. And I also want, you know, do your own film study, but if you see, see here, it's not as though he's going slow, it's just that he's not going hard like he would here, say. And that that should be the takeaway. So I may get some nomenclature and some names wrong, but it's just it's my perspective versus you know an actual someone that wrestled in say high school or college. So post post sprawl front headlock, and this appears to be like a snap down. I, I put the gentleman's name. He's Georgian. There's a reference. So instead of the two on one into a euro that euro style fireman's carry where they kind of tripod and hop around. See this here. Very nice, and that agility is astounding to me. So keep in mind in MMA, it's often wrestling offense versus defense, but in wrestling, it's just wrestling. There isn't striking, you're both high level, you're both competing as wrestlers. And you'll see this sort of theme throughout the snap to switch side front headlock. Those are the rapid fire improv adjustments that, that make him really uh, very Kasparov, like, yeah, like a, a master chessman. Um, it's as though he's baiting with the left leg here for the single, to then kick out and around right and then into a back take. So here's the kick out. GSP used this brilliantly against Koscheck as well, off of a uh, double leg attempt and to an attempted wrap. Now this doesn't completely work as he kind of tripods his way up. Now look at look at Sajulayev and his calm. Here he's checking the position. He wants to go to his left side where his hip is free, right? Turn around. It's almost like a, he's attempting a cradle, putting his head in the hole. That's not working. So he postures up. Attempts the reach around the, the opponent does um, from tripod to prevent the goal behind. But Sajulayev goes right, right into the armpit lateralis region and attempts to hook the, the near side knee like a switch. But Sajulayev goes light leg into heavy hip to hip for a gut wrench side suplex right there. Beautiful stuff. In the point system and stuff is where I get kind of. Eh. So brilliant hand fighting sets this up. Opponent has a collar tie and attempts. Uh, to, to control the wrist. Sajulayev goes into an overtie and the level changes while clearing the left wrist into a high seat turn gut wrench and that rolling gut wrench toss which is kind of a, a, a theme of his. You'll, you'll see often. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. This guy is incredible. Um, quickness and agil agility as directional change are astounding for a 200 plus pounder in Sajulayev here. The Russian bear. Look at this. Again you get that kind of posture and he's shelving the leg there look at this now so he frames the forehead to free legs via turnout finds the underhook to then shuck into a back take and another rolling gut wrench this is a wizard into a cartwheel step over it's like a corner turn back take now if a heavyweight did this at say adcc the jiu-jitsu community would have it everywhere on instagram for you know a month easy and again this is a 200 plus pound man and he, that's a one-hander. I've seen Americans do the, the cartwheel trick there, and they two-hand it, and it, it doesn't seem to work as well. Crazier still, he hits that from a, 
you know, a standing wizard often. So here he is standing right there, but he, he put his left hand towards the knee, sort of. So he's selling it like, like an Uchimata, it was his left leg rather, which gets a crouch from the opponent and that clears the lane. See that, that left leg? Got the opponent to crouch and then he can go over. So he's approaching square stanced here and he'll flash a collar tie to get the underhook into a high C waist drag again. There we go. And see how he hops over. A lot of times they arch their back on those gut wrenches on the ground to get that roll out. And I wanted to close out with another person whose stylings remind me of like Islam Makachev and the like. And you'll see why is An Anwar Gedjuev, uh, I think. I don't know if that's uh, pr proper enunciation, but this should look familiar, eh? Look at that. But it's more sequitur. It's a little bit more advanced than, than what we saw from Makachev and Chase saw that day. So level change to fake single gets weight distribution to flamingo leg him. He then uses that that rounded wrist, that rounded wrist swipe. It's, it's very judo-esque in theory, creating Kazushi there. And that one, that one was a little more similar to the Islam Makachev one. But he'll also get a reverse grip ankle pick in the process. And this is where you're seeing, you know, there's levels to everything. These guys are wrestlers. This is all they're focused on. So it's there from the college. I see that with the left hand. He gets the ankle pick to, de to then set up the wrist control swipe out and around. Beautiful when you see it in slow motion to the back take. And just think, this went viral with Chase Saldate two different times, really. And it's commonplace at the highest levels of, of Russian freestyle wrestling. Um, again, I, I can't say enough how how astounding that technique is. This is this here from Bogomev. A um, little lighter weight class, of course. But there you see how he's got the reverse grip swiping in and around with the hand on the wrist obviously you gotta have good grip strength as well as agility so hopefully you learn something about movement and the importance of applicable film study which can sometimes be you know non-combat sport related it can be another sport for instance tell a friend a uh, cute girl i don't really care but the more the merrier and remember to share thanks everyone for watching cheers